Vexillology, a field of study dedicated to the study of flags and their design. For some very boring, but very appealing to some, like geography nerds, like maybe some of you. If you happen to come from anywhere around the world, but here, you should be able to name a handful of flags. Here, I've got a perfect example for you. What country is this? Go on, no one's judging you. Come on, say it out loud. Mm. Wrong, it's not Indonesia. It should be blatantly obvious that this is the flag of Monaco, because the red is slightly darker and is more squarish. Joke aside though, this is a perfect example of how bad a flag design can be. Just two colors arranged horizontally, making it confusable with just about anything, but on top of that, it's very boring. It's the biggest piece of dog shit. I mean, look at this flag, whales. It also has two horizontal colors, but it also has a f***ing dragon. I mean, how cool is that? So you guessed it, today I will be ranking flags from S to F, with F being for lame-ass flags that deserve to be redrawn, and S being dedicated to flags that deserve to be displayed in an art gallery. Actually, you know what, let me add a row above S tier. Now, just something that I want to point out, I'm not ranking flags for their flag appeal, but more for their overall aesthetic as a flag. I'll be going through every continent starting with Europe. Now, don't think Europe is first because it has some very nice flags. Hell no! I hope this guy gets banned from Twitch. Europe might be the lamest out there. I mean, look at how many flags are red, white, and blue. Europe just looks like a tube of f***ing toothpaste. And same goes for all tricolor flags. So, I think I made myself clear. Luxembourg, France, Russia, Austria, Latvia, Netherlands, Poland, Monaco, Lithuania, Ukraine, Hungary, Hungary, Italy, Germany, Belgium, Bulgaria, Armenia, Romania, and Ireland. D tier for unoriginal flags. Oh shit, it looks like my whole audience has been offended. I mean, nothing personal. Please do not unsubscribe. Now, there is one exception though. Estonia. I don't know how, but the peaceful combination of white, blue, and black just makes it so appealing to look at. Decent tier. Now there are the Nordic flags. They are really loved by everyone, and me included. Especially Norway and Iceland are decent here, being tricolor. Then Finland is... I mean, it's alright, like... And Sweden and Denmark are unoriginal tier. Sorry, I just find them ugly as shit. Why do you say that ugly. kind of stuff though? Like, what, what kind of parents do you have? Like, who raised you? Why would you say that? Now, the British flag. Even though my French side urges me not to say this, but this flag is a masterpiece. I mean, the combination of three flags, Northern Ireland, England, Scotland, and, and Wales... Okay, maybe not Wales, but... Into such an iconical and original design makes it sublime. Vexillology Climax. I know the Balkans are not the best place to live, but boy, do they have nice flags. But look at Albania's flag. A bright red background with a two-headed eagle. It is just majestic. S tier. Then we have Serbia, Monte Enward, Croatia, Slovenia, and decent tier. Bosnia is a one-of-a-kind flag. Really original and belongs in nice tier. And it's already obvious where Wales is gonna go. S tier. And now for the last flag of Europe. I mean Asia. I mean Africa. I mean, you're right. Okay, wherever Turkey is, it's a straight to the point Islamic country with a red background. I mean, it's alright, like. Africa is a very interesting continent for flags. First of all, there aren't much flags that resort to using red, white, and blue, and they're actually creative. Some are excellent. For example, take Mozambique. It is a tricolor flag with white fimbriations and a red triangle. Teal stands for the riches of the land, the white fimbriations signify peace, black represents the African continent, and yellow symbolizes the country's minerals, and red represents the struggle for independence. And they have a f***ing AK-47 on the flag. Vexillology Climax. Yes! And this is also the case for many countries. Look at Kenya, with four colors and a shield. There's also Sudan and the cooler Sudan, which deserves a solid nice tier. And Eswatini, Zimbabwe, Ethiopia, Liberia, South Africa, Angola, and Algeria are decent. And Togo, man. Look at Togo. It's so fucking epic, dude. Africa is so good at designing flags. I wish I could say the same for other things, though. However, Africa is also coincidentally home to the worst flags. I mean, an absolute eyesore of an example is Zambia. Ew! That awful green with this awkwardly placed eagle on top of another flag. F tier. And so is the case for Mauritania. What the f is this piece of sh? What is this? You could have chosen any color, and you chose the ugliest shade of every color of your flag. Green, gold, and red. And Africa doesn't come with the usual tricolor countries like Mali, Ivory Coast, Nigeria, Guinea, and... Chad? No! no. Why? No. Not you! No exceptions. Unoriginal to you. 
Okay, there's too many flags, but the best is behind us. So just to name a few, off-brand India, a day on the beach, and lots of other unoriginal designs. Let's hope for better flags from other continents. Asia, a vast continent stretching from the Ural Mountains to Indonesia, holding a very rich history. I wonder what flags they came up with to represent all of that. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What Come on, Indonesia. Do I even need to explain myself? Yemen's flag is so basic. It'd be so much better if they just turned the flag 180 degrees. Japan's flag is iconic, but also just so basic. Unoriginal too. And Bangladesh is even worse. The colors are straight up repulsive, and the circle is off the center. F tier. Just for that. And now, copyrighted Somalia? It's not that bad, but still. And Azerbaijan just makes me think of the chipmunks, honestly. Joke aside though, most Asian flags are majestic, like Kyrgyzstan. Most people think it's the Xbox logo in the center, but it is actually the sun that epitomizes peace and prosperity, while its 40 rays stands for their number of tribes united by Manas to fight against the Mongols. Nice tier. No, no, no. S tier. Also, look at Saudi Arabia's flag. It's so elegant, with a traditional saber in Arabic script. I know people don't always appreciate text on flags. Five words on a flag. The ideal number is zero. It's a flag, not a note that you're passing in class. But who cares what the stick figure has to say? I think it's cool. S to you. Iran's flag has interesting designs between colors as well as an emblem. S to you. But nothing can beat Nepal. Not only does it use symbols to say Nepal will exist as long as the sun and the moon, but literally every flag in the world is some sort of square or rectangle, and Nepal said f*** you, and drew triangles to represent the Himalayas. Vexillology Climax. Yes! North American flags are alright, even very good, not on original or anything. Canada is decent, Mexico as well, and USA has a satisfying flag. 13 stripes for 13 colonies, and 50 stars for 50 states. S tier. However, the real stuff is in the Caribbean. They stand out so much because they're different from most flags. I mean, take a look at Belize, the only flag featuring actual humans. The design isn't fabulous, but I'll give it a decent tier. Dominica is the only flag that uses the color purple, on top of being already very colorful, and Jamaica is the only flag in the world that doesn't use white, red, and blue. So, Jamaica and Dominica, nice to you. I know this is a province and not a country, but Quebec's flag is very interesting to say the least. White represents France, blue is heaven, and the fleur de lis represents purity. Nice to you. Finally, one of my personal favorite flags, Barbados. It has a freaking trident, man. What more do you want from a flag? Vexillology Climax. Yes! Yeah! Alright, now that we know what looks good on a flag and what doesn't, let's go through them very quickly. Peru is straight up unoriginal, Bolivia is unoriginal, and oh my god, what is this? The yellow part is bigger. This is ugly as shit. Oh, it represents the abundance of gold in Colombia. So they're just flexing on their money. Okay, that's fair. I mean it's alright, like... Argentina, decent here. And last but not least, Brazil. Stars, text, and a globe, say no more. S tier. Australia and New Zealand? I mean, it's alright, like... Like most flags with the Union Jack, they're usually not too bad, so Cook Islands, Tuvalu, and Fiji get... I mean, it's alright, like... Some bring back bad memories, like Palau. This looks like Bangladesh, but at least the colors aren't an eyesore. Still unoriginal, though because the dot is off scent. The Marshall Islands just looks like something from a space program, F tier. However, Oceania still gifts us with nice flags, such as Kiribati. It looks like a drawing, but who cares? It's pleasing to look at. Nice tier. All right, here's my tier list. Now hold on, before I wrap up, I see you guys commenting stuff saying stuff like, uh, you forgot the flag of uh, Nauru or something. First of all, who cares? And yes, I'll rank the ones I missed in another video, maybe. If that can make you happy, I'll even rank Nauru for you. Here. It's still F tier. The flag is f***ing ugly. Who puts a random yellow line in a star as a flag? Anyways, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and leave a like and blah, 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 blah. Goodbye.